China's Miracle Infrastructure Project, Sidu River Bridge, the first rocket bridge technology no one has surpassed. In this video, let us learn more about it. Can you believe it? In addition to being able to fly into the sky, rockets can also be used to build bridges. Such an incredible masterpiece can only be accomplished by China, the infrastructure madman. This is a bridge with an investment of 618 million. It took five years from design, construction to opening to traffic. When this bridge appeared in front of the world, countries all over the world were amazed by it. No one can believe that China actually built such an incredible super bridge in a deep mountain canyon. In order to build this bridge, unprecedented rocket bridge building technology was also created. What kind of bridge is this that attracts global attention and admiration? Let us take a look at the Sidhu River Bridge, which is extremely difficult to build. The Sidhu River Bridge is located in Hubei Province, China, and is the main thoroughfare connecting Yichang City and Enchi City. For a long time, this place has been blocked by the Sidhu River in the deep mountains and canyons. It is isolated from the world and has inconvenient transportation, which has seriously affected the local economy. As China's infrastructure capabilities develop, highways, railways and bridges are popping up everywhere. China also plans to build a huge suspension bridge over the Sidhu River. This cable bridge is 560 meters high and 1100 meters long making it the second tallest bridge in the world. So, some friends will definitely ask, where is the world's tallest bridge? In fact, at that time, the Sidhu River Bridge was recognized as the tallest bridge in the world in terms of both height and volume. The height of 560 meters is equivalent to 198 floors. The famous Oriental Pearl Tower in Shanghai is 468 meters tall. This bridge is nearly 100 meters higher than it. However, in 2016, with the completion of the 565 meters high Beipanjiang Bridge in Guizhou, China, the Sidhu River Bridge gave up its first position. Although the current Sidhu River Bridge is no longer the tallest, its construction is no less difficult than any other bridge in the world. Because there are very steep cliffs on both sides of the bridge, it is difficult for even agile rock climbers to climb up the bridge in such an environment, let alone an excavator. One can imagine how difficult it is to build the bridge. Where to lay the bridge foundation and how to build the bridge are difficult problems. In addition to the basic construction of the bridge, the biggest construction problem is the laying of the pilot cables when erecting the bridge. You must know that the cliffs on both sides of the bridge are more than 1,000 meters apart, and there are bottomless canyons in the middle. In this harsh environment, it is difficult to throw the pilot cable to the other side when building a bridge. If the pilot cable problem cannot be solved, the construction of the bridge will become an impossible task. But the Chinese construction team cannot give up easily. As we all know, there are two main ways of throwing guide ropes, one is to rely on human power, and the other is to use aircraft to complete it. At that time, the builder considered both options. First let's talk about manual delivery. Because the distance is too long and the pilot cable is too heavy, manual transportation requires at least a team of 5 to 10 people to carry out the construction. However, if such a cliff is not careful, it will cause casualties to construction personnel, which is absolutely undesirable. Moreover, China has always adhered to the principle of putting people first, and it is impossible for construction workers to take this risk. The second option is to use an aircraft, that is, a helicopter or a hot air balloon for dragging. 
However, the wind speed in the valley changes too quickly, the climate conditions are extremely complex, and the construction site is located in the mountains, making it impossible to find a landing place for the helicopter. If the construction team takes the risk of using helicopters to transport the goods, it is more likely to cause a plane crash and fatalities. In this way, neither method will work, so does it mean that the bridge construction has failed? How could the famous infrastructure maniac just admit defeat? When everyone outside thought this was an impossible task, Chinese builders did not give up. Instead, they worked hard day and night and finally overcame many difficulties and found a way to build the bridge. That is the rocket-throwing technology of the pilot cable of the long-span suspension bridge. This technology also made China the first country in the world to use rocket-throwing technology. After hearing this, do you think the infrastructure maniac is very powerful? In addition to lamenting that China's infrastructure is so great, you must also have many doubts. Aren't rockets used to transport missiles and spacecraft? How can it be used to build a bridge? In fact, the idea of this wonderful rocket-built bridge was accidental. All this is thanks to China's smart and intelligent builders. During the construction of the bridge, an engineer fell ill and was hospitalized because he was working in the weather while searching for a solution for pilot cables at the construction site. While he was in the hospital, he saw a nurse giving him an intravenous drip, and suddenly he had the idea that there was a long tube behind the needle which looked like the pilot cable of a bridge. He immediately thought of the fishing spears used by fishermen in the sea. Since neither humans nor aircraft can solve the problem of the pilot cable, can the pilot cable be tied to the rocket, then ignited and ejected? Just like a fisherman with a rope tied behind his harpoon. After thinking about this problem, the engineer hurriedly returned to the construction team regardless of his still recovering body and told other engineers about the idea. They consulted various information and contacted several missile experts in the army and finally got a theoretically feasible answer. Such a reply undoubtedly gives the construction team another hope that as long as it is theoretically feasible, they can turn it into reality. So the construction team selected the first mine-sweeping rocket as a prototype and modified the relevant components. They connected one end of the pilot cable to the rocket's engine and then fixed the other end of the pilot cable to the bridge pile. Now that the launch is ready, the next step is how to accurately send the rocket from one side to the designated location on the other side. After precise calculations and multiple simulation experiments by engineers and military personnel, Two small rockets pulled the pilot cables and flew across the canyon in an instant. In this way, the mini-rocket was accurately launched to the designated location on the other side, with the 1,200 meters long pilot cable. The whole process took only three seconds. Who else can have such a heartwarming miracle besides China? Such a wonderful idea suddenly solved the problem that caused headaches for all technicians. With the help of the rocket, the pilot cable was successfully thrown to the other side. The subsequent construction of the bridge undoubtedly was a piece of cake for China. Afterwards, the bridge grew like bamboo shoots after a rain, and its completion was just a matter of time and there was no technical difficulty. After the joint efforts of all staff, an investment of 618 million yuan, and construction of more than five years, the superbridge was finally completed and opened to traffic on November 15, 2009, becoming another miracle in the history of bridges in China and the world. China's first pilot cable rocket-throwing technology for long-span suspension bridges has filled the world's technological gap, 
In building suspension bridges in mountainous areas with high peaks, deep valleys, and complex terrain, China has developed a brand new construction method which is not only safe and reliable but also saves money greatly and has been unanimously recognized by countries around the world. China has once again confirmed its status as the world's benchmark for bridge construction. Of course, the use of rockets is not the only surprise that the Sidhu River Bridge has given the world. This project also set a number of domestic and foreign records. For example, the tunnel anchor used on the east bank of the bridge at that time was the world's largest tunnel anchor under construction. Another example is the cable crane used for hoisting stiffening beams, which was the largest large tonnage cable crane with the largest span in China at that time. In order to measure the wind characteristics of deep canyons at any time in complex terrain such as mountainous areas, China has for the first time set up a networked wind speed observation tower on a bridge. In general, the construction of the Sidhu River Bridge has improved traffic conditions in Hubei, strengthened connections between regions, and created opportunities for economic development. For China, this is not only a sign of higher infrastructure capabilities, but also an improvement in technological innovation capabilities. Construction workers contributed their own wisdom to the completion of the project, which led to these breakthroughs and progress. Paying attention to humanities and people's livelihood is the key to China's infrastructure projects going deep into the mountains and benefiting the people. The improvement of infrastructure capacity has increased the happiness of the Chinese people. And these buildings that benefit the people, in turn, also accumulate experience for construction work. It can be seen that only if interests are not regarded as the only orientation, can unexpected surprises be encountered. This is also an important reason why China's infrastructure can reach its current height. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.